Ace was one of those guys who always made fun of the guys on the high school golf team. A star basketball player and sprinter on the track team, Ace became hooked on the sport when he saw some buddies playing a variation of speed golf at the local Muni. Now he plays five days a week, keeps his clubs in the trunk of his car, and loves to rub it in the face of his competitors with a post-putt birdie dance. It's an end zone gloat in golf. Born and bred in New York City, Felicia was one of the first students to benefit from the Tiger Woods Foundation, participating in a clinic put on by Tiger for the young children of her neighborhood. Felicia became a top junior player and earned a golf scholarship to New York University. She's hoping to join the pro circuit once she earns her college degree. Dominic finished second at the 2002 World Championships, just a stroke behind the winner in a heated battle. Soon after that tournament, however, that winner mysteriously disappeared and was never heard from again. Although it was never proven that Dominic was responsible, his opponents on the tour all seem to crumble down the stretch when he's in contention, fearing for their own safety and perhaps a pair of cement golf shoes. Solita is known around the tour as the solitary one. Put up for adoption at an early age, Salita was taken in by a family of greenskeepers. She immediately took to golf and made the practice area her second home. She's a master of all the short shots and has no peer when it comes to spinning shots on the green. Edwin is the reigning senior golf champion at the Black Rock Cove Retirement Home. These days he wets the bed fairly frequently, so he gets the morning tea times at Black Rock. But with a senior title came a free membership at the Princeville Resort, where he now spends most of his time making the staff's lives a living hell with his grumpy attitude and general distaste for life. Hamish McGregor grew up hitting a small leather pouch stuffed with gannet feathers around the shores of the Firth of Tay with a shepherd's crook. One day a travelling English golf pro saw him, thought his swing was promising and encouraged him to come to England and master the game. Hamish has become quite a player, but keep a close eye on his scorecard. He's pretty good with a pencil and they don't call him Mulligan McGregor for nothing. Despite his reaching the highest rank of Yokozuna, Tsunami was kicked off the sumo wrestling tour due to his frequent violation of the tour's weight limits. He fled to the mountains overlooking Tokyo and was not heard from for nearly five years until emerging with a newfound love for the game of golf. He now spends most of his free time on the links. An outstanding junior golfer, Kelly was constantly pulled away from her teammates moving from town to town at the mercy of her father's successful career as a rodeo clown. Mr. Newman has since retired from the rodeo, but now pours every ounce of his being into Kelly's golf career, relentlessly driving her to be the greatest golfer in the history of the game. Kelly loves her dad, but wishes he would ease up a little, you know? Val grew up the daughter of a famous and wealthy Hollywood producer. For the past 10 years, her passion has been to spend the summer at Daddy's Country Club in Beverly Hills, playing golf whenever the temperature is exactly 72 degrees, which she contends is perfect hair weather. Her temper tantrums are legendary, so it's best to simply let her win and avoid the unpleasantry. Moa is all about power. Born into royalty as the Prince of Poi, his family was killed during a tragic volcano eruption. It has been said that each of his prodigious drives was born from the angst of losing his parents, and that he puts all of his sorrow into every swing. Poor little golf ball. Yosh, an alumnus of UC Berkeley, didn't take up golf seriously until he had earned his master's in mathematics. He is now a tireless student of the game and spends countless hours on the links, refining his approach from any and every possible angle. He prides himself on knowing what club to use, from any lie, from any distance, on any hole, and he has no life. Even when he's 60 yards from the green, Yosh thinks he can hold it, and he's often right. Erica possesses tremendous talent, despite only being able to play four months of the year because of the harsh climate of her native Norway. Her strength is certainly her mental game, which she attests to her studying of transcendental meditation and Eastern philosophy. Oh, and by the way, in her spare time, she also poses as a swimsuit model to support her golfing habit. Is Tiger Woods the greatest golfer of all time? Just seven PGA Tour seasons into his young career, some are asking just that. 
Tiger's won eight major championships, including the last two Masters titles, and he's the only player to hold all professional major titles at the same time. He became the player to win 30 PGA Tour events faster than anyone in history when in 2002 he captured the Bay Hill Invitational. He's held the number one spot in the world ranking since 1999, the longest reign at the top of the world list in golf history. Raised on a dairy farm in Australia, Stuart Appleby honed his golfing skills by hitting balls from paddock to paddock as a young boy. All that work paid off in a big way with three PGA Tour victories. Stuart has twice represented the world team in the President's Cup. A former Australian rules football player, Stuart now lives in Orlando, Florida. Nota Begay has won four tournaments, including back-to-back -back titles in the summer of 2000, the FedEx St. Jude Classic in Memphis, and the Canon Greater Hartford Open. Nota was a three-time All-American selection and a teammate of Tiger Woods at Stanford University. He shot the lowest round in Buy.com tournament history with an amazing 59, and he played on the victorious U.S. President's Cup team in the year 2000. Mark Kalkovecki is a 20-year veteran on the PGA Tour and his greatest triumph was the 1989 British Open when he shot a 9 under par 275 to win. A 10-time winner on the PGA Tour, Mark most recently won the 2001 Phoenix Open where he set seven tour scoring records en route to a 28 under par 256. He lives in West Palm Beach, Florida and has two children. Stuart Sink is a two-time winner on the PGA Tour, but he may be most remembered for finishing just one shot out of a playoff in that thrilling conclusion to the 2001 U.S. Open, catapulting him to a top 30 finish on the money list and a berth in the Tour Championship. Stuart lives in Duluth, Georgia with his wife Lisa and their two children. Brad Faxon has won eight times on the PGA Tour, including the 2001 Sony Open and back-to-back -back BC Opens in 1999 and 2000. He led the tour putting statistics in 2000 and rarely finishes out of the top 10. Brad has been a member of two Ryder Cup teams and lives with his family in Barrington, Rhode Island. Since joining the tour in 1993, Jim Furyk has been one of its most consistent performers. Jim has won seven PGA Tour events and has won at least one tour event each season since 1998. His favorite town seems to be Las Vegas, where he has won the Las Vegas Invitational three times. He's an avid follower of the Pittsburgh Steelers and he and his wife Tabitha live in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. The most heralded of the young guns on the PGA Tour, Charles Howell III exploded onto golf center stage in 2001. He won Rookie of the Year honors and became the fifth first-year player to win $1 million in his first season on tour. A native of Augusta, Georgia, Charles now resides in Orlando, Florida with his wife Heather. Justin Leonard is a seven-time winner on the PGA Tour. He won his first major in 1997, capturing the British Open at Royal Troon. But he may be more remembered as the player who sank the dramatic 75-foot putt on the 17th green at Brookline Country Club to clinch the 1999 Ryder Cup comeback for the United States. With 26 career European titles under his belt, Colin Montgomery has proven himself as one of the world's elite golfers. He's been named European Tour Player of the Year four times and finished as the top money winner in the Order of Merit a record seven consecutive years between 93 and 99. He currently resides in Surrey in the United Kingdom with his wife Emer and their three children. Marco Mira has enjoyed a brilliant career on the PGA Tour, winning 16 times on the pro circuit, including two majors in the same season, the 1998 Masters and British Open Championships. He, his wife Alicia and their two children reside in Windermere, Florida, just on the road from Tiger Woods, but they may want to consider a second home at Pebble Beach, where Mark has won the AT&T a record five times. One of the most recognizable players in golf, Jesper Parnovic is a five-time winner on tour. A veteran of two Ryder Cup teams, he enjoyed his finest year ever in 2000, winning twice and finishing the year ranked eighth on the PGA Tour money list. Born in Sweden, Jesper now lives in Jupiter, Florida with his wife Mia and their four children. 
BJ Singh is a 10-time PGA Tour winner and won his first major title in 1998, capturing the PGA Championship at Sahali Country Club. He followed that up with a win at the Masters in the spring of 2000. A tireless worker, BJ will often be seen late into the evenings pounding ball after ball on the driving range. A native of Fiji, BJ now makes his home in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. Steve Stricker is a three-time winner on the PGA Tour, and he enjoyed the biggest payday of his career when he captured the 2001 Accenture Match Play Championship in Melbourne, Australia. Steve's wife, Nikki, serves as his regular caddy on tour, taking a break from the bag only to give birth to their daughter in 1998. Ty Tryon became the youngest player ever to qualify for the PGA Tour, earning his tour card at the age of 17 by finishing in a tie for 23rd at the PGA Tour Qualifying School in 2001. Born William Tryon, he was nicknamed Ty by his father Bill after the Caddyshack character Ty Webb, made famous by Chevy Chase. He has two younger brothers and a sister, and he lives in Orlando, Florida.